hello guys today i'll teach you how to set up a spring uh, minecraft server i'll teach you how to set up a costumes plugins um servers etc you know uh, like you can add anything you want on your plugin so like essential eggs um some days thing and it's the sleeping part and thing i don't know you can choose any in the spring website i'll link in the description so today I told you in the last description how to access your uh, Minecraft server files so I'll teach you how to do that right now so you need your IP address the one that you have this one and then you can have your your key and then you click connect click OK if you consider it will bring you to this one but this instead instead of um, the server jar we, we're gonna download a Spriggit website Spriggit jar for first thing first we need to actually save the, the world first so before we check anything else so we let's go to the world that where i was before what's oh, a new one because i created a new one there you go now you're in the server sorry for the recording lag it's not my recording software is not for playing though so it's for recording my screen sorry i have a record i don't know recording up oh. up oh, never mind i actually logged in never mind so as you can see um, in the thing it says vanilla server you can see on the top right I'll show you zoom in there yeah, it says um, vanilla server so we want to change that vanilla server into a Spriggit server so first thing first we get disconnect um, go to the fazira save download it first then it will download all the files this sure it says successful transfer still failed Okay, the, the, now it says here you transfer finish now we had to delete um, the, um, the server jar permission denied well we had to um, go to the console stop it um, stop there you go it's stopping the server now there you go uh, we need to oh sorry we need to um, delete um the, the server jar so we do remove um, remove rm slash home slash minecraft slash server that's uh, there it's removed now we had re refresh it now it's gone it's not in there anymore so you will click the link in the description click this uh, 1.16.4 let's download that click it instead of this clicking it you right click and save it just in case yep save it okay now you go to the console and do wget copy this and then you install it from the micro server there you go it will place a new server so we test it out instead of screen we have to remove the rest into just jar unable to act. oh because our uh, server you have to be a let me check the new one though so it's now spriggered 1.16.4 jar uh, let's copy that I'm lazy to just do. copy that there you go spriggered jar no UI click enter it says server will start in 20 seconds ignore the rest though this only this thing so the server will start in 20 seconds so if, if you um, follow some other instruction like beforehand you can but if you have an existing micro server you can do this but if you want to do the other way you have to delete the whole virtual machine and do the process of making the server but this time you have to go to this website this website instead of going to the MC version if you want to go there that's for the vanilla server but if you want to spring it, you can install it from here. Now, it should be downloaded. There you go, it's now installing. You just wait for it to install. So if you save the world here, you can change, you, you can rename it if you want. Ah, now it's done. Now you have the commands now. So let's go back to the server, the same server, login. There you go, it's now logging in and encrypting. There you go, you're logged into the server. The big difference is that 
It's now a Spriggett server. You see beforehand, side by side, it says Vanilla on the left side and Spriggett on the right side. Yeah, it's now a Spriggett server. And you're asking, and you're asking me why? How do I install plugins to my server? I want to install plugins. Well, I'll teach you how to do that. So first thing first, keep this open because you need that. So this is where all the plugins, link in the description. Um, first thing first, let's make it obvious. So let's go admin tools. I want to add, let's say, um, world edit. Download that. Download um, world plugin. It will start downloading it. While we wait for it to download, we have to stop the server. So we can access the um, the files. Keep that. Now it's saving the world. Now when you when you're in here, clear. You don't need to do that. Um, first thing first, we need to gain access to the story. So go mod 777 stash home. Do the same thing in Minecraft. I mean not my yeah Minecraft. Do this thing. No such file for it. What happened? Ah, oh, because I didn't specify what micro did. There. Now you got access to both the home file and the micro file. Now you drag the plugin in here into the server. So drag that. You should download it. Oh, oh, it didn't because you don't have permission to it. Oh well, if you if you don't have permission, then do plugin. There you go. Now I hope you get permission now. There. Start uploading. There you go. Works. Good. Now let's go back to the server and start out with the uh, this thing. And now it will start in 20 seconds. It should work right now. If you get the world edit, that will be epic. Okay. Now the server is done. We can now actually go into server now. So refresh it, wait for it to say a micro server, or you can just join in. Plugin, commands, let's say this. Um, slash, slash. Oh, it works. Let's go. Oh, because I don't have access. Okay, I need to give myself O. So O, Arctic, Oof, XD. There, now I'm up to the server. So let's change to creative mode. Change to creative mode. Now we have a tool, give myself a wand, there you go, I got a wand, edit this, uh, let's say, um, edit this, and slash slash cut, and, oh, I have to make a reading first, oh wait, ah, oh. I don't know how to make that, uh, oh, edit, sorry, so uh, slash slash cut, it should cut, well, it works though, so, I'll say it's a win-win. There you go. It works. There you go. Now the plugin is installed. Now you can enjoy your plugins wherever you want now. And if you want to host it, well, just watch the first video. It teaches you how to host it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll make another video how to install um, Spriggert server from scratch. Or well, basically from the same first video, but you know, it's easy to set up. And yeah, are you enjoying this creeper? I'm lagging, right? Yeah, good. Okay, bye bye.